What's going on guys? It's your boy Shot, and in today's video I thought I'd show you guys a little how-to video tutorial about how I record my home VHS's and my home DVD's onto my computer using a capture card device, a VCR and DVD player, and a computer that's capable of running XSplit Broadcaster, which is the same program I use for my live streams and any kind of screen capture that I try to do on any of my computers. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. All the equipment I have, the whole setup, everything I'll leave links in the description below so you guys can go buy it. I hope this is useful to any of you guys. If anyone has any questions at the end of this video, feel free to hit me up. I'll be glad to answer any of them for you. So let's get right into it. I'll show you my setup, and then from there we can get into the technical part of it. Right, so this is the area in my office that I have designated for VCR and DVD recordings onto a computer, which I then use in post-edit to make videos. So the computer I'm using here is a basic Acer. I think I picked this up for three, four hundred bucks. I actually bought this specifically to just record VHSs and DVDs onto this. And then from here, this is set up on my home network where I can access it from my main computer over the Wi-Fi. Uh, and it makes it really easy, easy to transfer files and stuff like that. The VHS and DVD player is your basic Magnavox, which I'm also running a Magnavox TV with a built-in DVD. So I'll kind of give you a rundown of how everything's hooked up. So right now, this computer right here is plugged into this TV using VGA and a speaker's cable that's run from the back of this into the back of here into PCN, which I will show the camera in reverse once I turn this around, and you'll be able to see it from the back end of it. Now this setup right here is the VCR is plugged into this capture device and this capture device is plugged into my computer using a USB connection and the USB plugs directly into there. So there's two separate uh, connections for video and audio which I will turn this around right now and I'm going to show you guys the back end of it so you can see how that looks. Alright guys, so now that we're behind the TV, I can kind of give you guys a better rundown of how everything's hooked up and all the technical aspects of it. So right now we have my PC hooked up to the TV using a VGA cable which displays the picture into the TV. Now the audio is coming in through a speaker cable which I have plugged into the speaker jack which is typically the green jack on the back of your co computer. So that plugs into here and this all goes into the PC in slot on my TV. Now the VCR is plugged into two parts of this. It's plugged into the Pinnacle USB device only through video though. So I have the video cable I have a video cable running specifically from the back of my VCR into the USB device and then the USB cable is run into the back of my PC. Now the reason for that is this capture card only allows me to capture the video of it. Now for the audio I have to run it through the speaker connector so for that I have a audio uh, red and white connector plugged into the back of this and it plugs into my 3.5 millimeter jack on the back of my computer which I use as the microphone connector and that allows me to achieve both audio and video through the Pinnacle USB device. Now I did have to download the drivers for the Pinnacle 700 USB because I am running Windows 10. This computer also has 4 gigabytes of RAM. It has a basic processor and I'll leave all the tech specs in the description like I said but this is the basic rundown of the back of the computer so you guys can get a better understanding about how to plug everything in. Uh, I know a lot of people when they first started setting this up they would try to just use all the uh, all these connectors but like I said I use the capture card strictly for the video and the microphone I use separate which is plugged directly into the back of the VCR input into my computer so the microphone is being used to output the the sound and the video is outputting through the capture card hope that's clear so now since we have that set up let me show you the program that I use and the settings I use in the program to achieve the capture Alright guys, so now that you've seen the back of the TV and you have an idea of how everything's hardwired in, I'm going to show you my settings that I use in a program called XSplit Broadcaster. Now, there's obviously more than one way to skin a cat. Some people use the software that comes with their capture device. This just happens to be the best way that I know how to set it up and the way that's worked the best for me. So, I'll show you the settings I use once I'm in the program, the dimensions and stuff like that. So, let's get through that next part here. Alright guys, now that we're in the program, what I need to do is turn on desktop capture region and this is strictly for demonstration purposes to give you guys an idea of what I'm doing in the program itself. So you're going to see a crazy mirrored effect here in a second. Don't get distracted by it. It'll only be temporary. Alright, so now that we have XSplit Broadcaster open, what we need to do is add your device to an actual scene. Now down here on the right, I have scenes designated to certain things on my computers. I have my desktop one, which is my primary desktop capture, which is basically the one that I have set up now. My desktop 2 is my second monitor. And then down here I have VCR, which I'm going to designate strictly for VCR recordings. Now, like I said, don't get distracted right off the bat. This is going to go away in a second. 
So once you have all your drivers and everything installed on your computer for your capture device, you're going to want to add the device to the program. So you're going to go to Add, and under Webcam, Capture Card, and Video Devices, I'm going to select Pinnacle System 700 U USB. And what that's going to do is allow me to add the device. As you can see, it's blue right now. And what I can do is resize this um, because there is no image. I don't have it turned on yet. So let me resize it first. Uh, I'm going to put this behind me in front of the desktop. Put it right in the dead center. And give me a second to turn it on, and then you'll be able to see it. the picture in a second. All right, so guys, as you can see, I have the video added into the program. There is no sound yet, so what I want to do right now is right-click on the video, and under audio input, we're going to switch this to the microphone jack from which we have plugged in through our VCR. If you remember correctly, on the back of our VCR, we have the two audio cables plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack. That is going to be where the audio input is set in the program itself. So I'm going to switch this to microphone, and you should be able to hear it in a second here. It should pop up. And there you go. Uh, that will allow you to capture it. I'm going to pause it for a second. Uh, let me mute that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that video useful. If any of you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to leave as many links in the description as possible to some of the products that I use. Other than that, you guys have a great day and enjoy recording your home videos.